this point, the dog was been out for two days. We found her with a drone, but she was very skittish. Uh, we had a couple of people around searching. We had one ground handler was on the ground with three dogs. Uh, she entered the field where the dog was and waited. Um, we used a drone to push her away from the railway tracks. And with that, she started to walk towards the ground handler with the three dogs. But it was the patience of the ground handler, it took ages. You can see on here, she's looking and seeing, watching the dogs, and she can hear being called the name. She slowly moves up. So we followed her with a drone. And slowly encouraging her to come over. It took about 45 minutes to finally get her to get over close enough. But she still would not make contact close enough. She sniffed the other dogs, but she just wouldn't get close enough to put a lead or anything around her. So in the ground, in the end, the ground handler made her way over towards where the trap was and sat down and let Luna move towards her. Once she moved towards her, uh, she threw a ball and Luna ran for the ball and then just dropped it. But once she dropped it, she actually picked up the scent of the food near the trap. And again, the ground handler just sat and waited and waited and waited. Um, I'm not sure quite how long it was um, out for, but I was flying and I used eight batteries just to keep an eye. But you can see from there, she was desperate to get involved with the play and what was going on. So Julie just sat there in the freezing cold, just encouraging her to come closer and closer and closer. You can see she was desperate to go. She barked a bit and the other dogs barked back and it sort of encouraged her. But it did take a long time. And it's just the skills of the ground handler that, and the perseverance that finally encouraged her to get up close enough and come over. And then we caught her. So very fortunate. It was a really good job done by Julie and obviously the three dogs. They played their part. They were encouraging her, Luna, to come over. And when she did come over, they ignored her or just sniffed each other. So as you could see, she was calling her and calling her. And Luna was desperate to go over, but she'd been out at this point for probably 25, 27 hours. She'd been running all night. She jumped to a railway line. She injured her leg. Um, we caught her at four o'clock in the morning on the thermal drone, running up and down the fields. But at that point, we just couldn't catch her. We just had to monitor her and keep an eye where she was, and then work the next day within the uh, daylight hours. But as you can see there, Julie's just constantly talking to her, encouraging her. She had a few treats in her pocket, so she'd use those up. See, Luna's desperate to go and play with them. And she sits down and she just 
Once the Jordan.